Hey everybody, uh, so continuation talking a little bit about the StoneX Cubase stuff, so showed you how to load the files. We'll be doing a lot more of this stuff so you guys can see the stuff and get familiar with it if you get interested in checking it out. Um, now I've got the last video, there's no base pole, base pole is actually still out here. Um, so I'm going to do a video where we set up on a, on a point as well, but this one's got a pole so we'll keep it simple. So I'll show you how to connect to this base and get it started. Um, so I got it on the pole here. here put this there. I got to get my recording started on the phone here. All right, so now we're recording on the phone. Actually, we'll just bring this over here with us. So what we're gonna do is uh, we don't have to be this close. The Bluetooth works really well, but I'm just standing here for simplicity's sake. But uh. So the first thing I gotta do is I'm on my project. Um, now I just, so a couple things about this setup. Put our poles at zero height. I've got a quick connect on here. Downward facing antenna is honestly not my most favorite thing in the world, but it, it is nice in a lot of situations, but for spin on poles like this. So I dropped a quick connect on there, so we will put an antenna height in there. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to communication. So we've got 2013 and 2022. I've done this a million times. I still always look at the serial number up on the bottom. You can see the serial number right there. You can put the stickers on them. You can do all that kind of stuff. But So we're going to connect. We're going to connect to our base. It's been set up and running for you know, two minutes or something like that. So this will be a side. You can see this is connecting here. Okay, so now we've, um, we're connected to our base. We're gonna go to, I was gonna, oop, I hit the right button. We go to working mode, base. So now I can input base coordinates. So choose from existing point. I added the base pole in here, coordinates. Just hit okay. Set base antenna height. This just be 0.13 for the quick connect. And I'm going to run internal radio. Got my stuff. I'm just going to hit start. You'll listen for the beep here. There you go. Beeps. And on the screen here, you'll see it complete in just a second. It's going through and setting all my parameters that I just put in there. And then I don't know how well this is going to be able to see in the sunlight, but. Um, yeah, you can see my lights flashing there I'm to my radio and satellites. It means I'm broadcasting for my base. So now that I've done that, I can disconnect from my base. Now my base is set up and broadcasting. So next step, I'm going to fire up the rover. And uh, we'll hit a couple points, see how that looks. But uh, yeah, I'll show you that process. So pretty straightforward. Um, process is going to be the exact same if you're setting up on uh you know a nail or a rebar of the cap or whatever you just you know antenna heights can be important and then making sure you get um you know obviously the right point and everything but it's as simple as that and then you know configuring radio i like i said i'm running an internal radio we can do this thing um you know on a network or however you want to do it but with the base obviously i'm gonna run radio so I'll uh I'll quit talking. I'll get the rover out and we'll get connected to it.